In today's video, Ashton went from looking like this to looking like this. Ariana went from looking like this to looking like this. And in this video, I'm gonna explain why and show you the results. All right guys, so this weekend is, uh, I wanna show you guys a little bit of what I do for work. So the Tampa Pro is in town. I've got competitors doing the NPC as well as the IFBB portion of the show. The show started last night with Cheryl. Um, they do a master's competition on Thursday night. Friday morning, they do a lot of the pros. And then on Saturday, they actually have the pro bikini and the NPC, which is what I'll be doing. But the nice thing about the show being in town is that my local clients that are here, the ones that come in from out of town, we go over to Powerhouse Gym. I get to see them the day before the show. And really what I'm looking for the day before the show is I like to do a light little workout, make sure that their muscles are staying full, that their conditioning is good. Then we make final decisions on how to adjust their fluids, their sodium, their, their carbohydrates. Um, and the, the adjustments were all over the place. Some of the girls I'm gonna be adding more food to, some of the girls that look a little bit softer, that maybe aren't as hard yet, I'm gonna pull a little bit of food away from them. But the point is, is that we're fine tuning so that when we walk out under those lights on the big day, that we look our absolute best. And bodybuilding is a sport that the judges do not care about anything other than what is presented on stage, right? So they're not gonna ask you what you weigh, how long you've been working out, what kind of stress you're under, what kind of job you have. It's literally just a comparison of what your physique looks like at that moment. So my job as a coach is to make sure everything is as pristine and as best it can be from the shoes, to the tan, to the hair and the makeup, to the posing, to the obviously the physique stuff as far as how much muscle they have, how lean they are, how full they are, um, and even the mindset stuff going into the show, you know, like, you know, where should we be mentally? Um, and then also on the day of the show, I'm actually gonna help coordinate, you know, when they should be to backstage, when they should be pumping up, all those things. And this is what I do as a coach. You know, I've spent probably the last 10, 11 years full-time coaching, but really the last few years, I've gotten really specific about um, coaching competitive athletes, specifically in the bikini division. And um, obviously we've got some amazing competitors, lots of girls getting pro cards, lots of girls winning overalls, lots of girls doing the Olympia um, and even, you know, placing very well at the Olympia. So yeah, I just thought I'd give you guys a little insight into what I do um, besides walking videos uh, and besides working out. This is actually, you know, the, the, the lessons that I've learned as a coach over the last, you know, 10 years and as my athlete, as myself over the last 30 years in the gym, those are things that I like to use in my coaching style. Um, obviously, they're, they're specific from athlete to athlete, whatever uh, our goals are. Each athlete is going to be either true novice, meaning they've never competed before, or, you know, we've got girls, you know, obviously, Daraja finished fourth at the Olympia last year. So I coach individually based on where they're at in their journey. Some girls are going to require a little bit more, you know, uh, help with their diet, their training, and some are going to require a little bit more help with getting feedback from judges and you know, the strategy around competing. So I thought I'd bring you guys along. We've got some amazing competitors. Um, in the pro division this weekend, we've got Marianne Parks and Ariana, um, and, and they're gonna do very well. Um, I'm very excited because they were both with me in Texas a month ago. We've made some improvements and we've come back to the stage. Um, and then I've got a couple amateur competitors or the NPC, the uh, amateur division, uh, Bikini. Lexi, who's one of our coaches, is looking amazing. Ashton, uh, this is our first show together and she looks amazing. Um, and we didn't get to see at the gym today, but Brooke is also going to be here. So we're going to have a great time. Uh, but the goal is, as a coach, to be in the best position possible going into the show, have a great show day, and then get feedback and, and, and work on the next goal. So hopefully you guys enjoy this type of content, showing you the, the purposes of how I uh, peak athletes, how I treat athletes, and you know what everyone looks like going into the show. If you have any questions, ask below and if you're looking for coaching in regards to a competition i'll put a link below we do a free 30-minute consult before we work together to make sure it's a good fit um and hopefully you enjoy this stuff all right guys talk to you tomorrow more looks a lot tighter right shoulder looks a lot tighter I got you. I know you feel good, but don't overdo it. Yeah, you're definitely full cool for that. One day out. Yes. How are you feeling? Pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah. How long has this prep been for you? Um, I want to say like 
12-ish weeks, I think. Yeah. 12-ish yeah, 12 yeah. weeks. Yeah. So like four or three weeks ago, I did Brigham, Texas. I think I was like nine or eight weeks prep, something like that. And then now we're here and it's been like 12-ish weeks, I think. So, still going strong. Feeling ready? Yes, super ready. A lot better than last time, so that's all that counts. Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is, I mean, this is hands down a, a huge step forward from last year. Yes, I can agree. Um, you know, does that mean you're going to win? No. Right. It means you're going to get looked at a lot more seriously. You look like a pro bikini champion. So, you know, I don't like to get ahead, but oh, you sure. look awesome. Yeah, so we, we will have to eat a little bit today. Yeah. But the nice thing is I'm going to see you this evening. Yeah. So the goal will be... I, it was 185 was the minimum so let's try to get 185 in by like six o'clock and then we'll maybe do like a little pump up and a pose at like six or seven tonight okay, that and then we'll decide we're probably gonna add one more meal okay. we're gonna check your weight throughout the day okay. so i just want to make sure we're not dropping because you dropped almost a pound and a half yeah so we want to make sure we're not yeah. like 121 in the morning right How do you feel like one day out? I feel great. I'm ready. ready? Excited. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nervous. It's been a minute. When was the last time you competed? Well, December, but it, before that was like the beginning of the year. So. How long? How long has your prep been? Uh, about 16 weeks. 16 weeks. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. So I'm ready. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> still got a little bit of body fat to lose yeah. so if we push too much carbs you're gonna get softer let's stay a little drier you've got an abundance of muscle for this division so let's stay tight okay yeah cool so and you did what how many carbs yesterday i think it was 150. Okay, so let's just go back down to 100 and we'll see where we're at in the morning cool. um, no other cardio or i don't think so okay. you're, you're busting a sweat you're gonna drop weight today you can just tell okay, okay. You're one day out, right? <laughs> yes, one, one day, day out. out. How long was this prep for you? Ooh, I don't even know. I started in March and it, it's August, so it's been it's been a lot coming, but this is the last one for the year. How are you feeling? Feeling good. How are you feeling about it? Yeah, no, this is the best I've ever looked, so yeah. we'll, we'll see what happens. All right, let's do it.
overpowering legs where they're like, you should do that. Well, I'm, I don't think that's a worry that I'm going to get that feedback. You're very good. <laughs> yeah. Maybe had one more cardio session tonight. Okay. What time are you tanning? I'm doing my own tan. So you can do it at any time? Yeah. Can you do cardio at home today or what's your yeah, schedule? Yeah. What do you I got can, at the house? I can do, I have my apartment gym, so I have Stairmaster, Perfect. treadmill, okay. Stairmaster. So 30 minutes on the Stairmaster, breaking a good sweat before you do your tan. And then cards yesterday were 130? And then 40. 100 today. Or do what? 100 today. Do you want me to potentially, do I have my Peloton bike? Do you want me to do that? I like the stairs better, you're gonna sweat more. It's gonna pull more water from Oh, I will sweat more on my bike. Do the Peloton then. Okay, because okay. I sweat a lot on my Okay, do that. But I want your tie-in sharp because we can get a win or, you know, I want to go North America, so I think we can be ready for that. Okay, so I'll right. do 30 minutes on the bike when I get